That 60 frames per second video is almost as smooth as me. Almost. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and y'all know what time it is. It's time for me to bring you more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. A lot of people out there are exporting or rendering their videos at 60 frames per second. And sometimes you guys need a little bit of help getting stuff done, so I'm here to supply you with that help. So today, I'm going to show you how to render your video or export it at 60 frames per second. Let's jump off of the Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Before I get into the 60 frames per second thing, I want to remind you of a few quick things. Remember to like, comment, and share this video. When you do those three things, it lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. Smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you get notifications every time I upload new content to YouTube. That means that you will never miss out on a Pinnacle Studio tutorial again. So if you want to catch more glimpses of this Pinnacle Studio love, make sure that you smash the subscribe button. Let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I have a video clip down in the timeline, and this clip is a 60 frames per second video clip. And we can tell that by going back up to the library. And if we locate that clip in the library and right click on that clip, we can go down to the display information selection. And when we click on that, we can see that it is at 59.94 frames per second, which is 60 frames per second. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is set up my project. Since I'm going to be making the export or the render at 60 frames per second, I want to make sure that my project matches that. So I'm going to go to setup, control panel. And I'm going to go to project settings. Once I'm here, I want to change the new movie project format. So when I click on this carrot, I can go down until I find 1920 by 1080 60p because that is what I want my project to be. So now I'm going to click on apply so that it applies that to the timeline. And I'm going to click on OK. So if I go down here to my timeline settings button and I hover over it, you can already see that now I'm at 1920 by 1080 60p. And if for some reason you wanted to change it here, you can do that as well by just clicking on the timeline settings button. And changing the frame rate to 60 or 60p and clicking on apply okay so now let's say I've edited my video I got all my clips in here I'm ready to go and I want to export or render this at 60 frames per second so that the finished video is also 60 frames per second I need to go to the export tab Under export type, I need to select file. And then under settings, I'm going to select MPEG-4. It might already be selected on here. And then you'll look down and you'll see that under preset, it might be set to very small or something else. But you'll see your frames per second will be like 12.5 if you're on very small. If I go to 1080p, which is what I want, then it goes to 29.97 frames per second. And I don't want that. I want 60. So what I can do here is I can change the preset and select custom. Once I do that, you'll see that it's still at 29.97. 
So what I need to do now is select advanced. When I do that, I have an option here for frames per second. And here I could change it to 59.94 frames per second, which is 60 frames per second. And then I can click on apply. Now, another way that you can do this with a different file format, which is MTS or transport stream, is you can just change your type to transport stream and then it will automatically give you the option for choosing 60p because it recognizes it from your project settings. So if I go to type and I select transport stream, which is a MTS file, an MTS file. I mean, it's just as good as a MPEG-4. This is the um, codec that like the Canon C100 Mark II uses, things like that. So if I select MTS, you'll see that it automatically went to 60p as an option here because it's one of the drop downs in the preset options. So you got that there as well. So that's how you go ahead and change your settings to be at 60p so you can render or export them at 60 frames per second. Once you're done, you select your location that you want to save your file to so that you can view the video later. And then you click on start export and you're on your way to 60 frames per second. Love. All right, guys, you know the routine. The thumb, the one that's pointing in the upward direction, click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it, show the thumb some love, people. Comments, leave me your comments, I'll give you answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in a direction to get you the help that you need. And lastly, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you get notifications when I upload videos. That way, you will know every time I bring content to YouTube and you'll be up on all the Pinnacle Studio love that I'm bringing to you. All right? Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.